One of the great damage generated by Tumbo is the factor of combined forms of use. Once it starts the movement of the weapon and that the practitioner enters the eye of the opponent, usually a first impact is carried out for unstructured emotional system and equilibrium, impairment of vestibular function which depends on the selected target. Later, the tumbo is used to cause fractures in the upper limb, damage in wrists, elbow and the shoulder joints. Moreover, the weapon can be used to the tightness in various postures and positions, being efficient for both kitomeru, interrupting of the flow of air, and chitomeru, interrupting of the blood flow. Those obstructions, as well as locks followed or not by violent projections, usually are applied after a technical impact or block and are an efficient way of detention. Although it's considered by many as just an isolated art, its forms and adaptations have been used in many other aspects of the combat arts. When we take a deep look through the ways to portray the historical use of small weapons on combat arts as Komiuchi, Jujutsu, Koppo and others, we can say that although there are variables between Seitegata forms applied, the techniques of Tambo are essentially identical to the Tessen and also relate to weapons like Naishi and Jute. There were techniques developed to enable a wide variety of other daily instruments to be used in a similar way as the Kiseru, sort of pipe, and Shakuhachi, bamboo flute. When we make reference to considerable difference, we refer to classical sequence studied and applied in each Seitegata. Superficially, we can highlight its use in Kumiuchi, Jujutsu and Koppo. Kumiuchi. In general, the techniques employed with these weapons are characterized by strong entries aiming primarily to generate an impact, seeking an advantage of the enemy during its attack. Within Komiuchi, the art Tambojutsu is not characterized as tool for everyday situation in case of Kumisata. Its usefulness was more intended for war and battlefield. Jujutsu, characterized by exemplifying the ways used in self-defense, Goshin, or imprisonment, Torite, applied in its majority for a specific purpose, not necessarily for just everyday situations. Kopo, used specifically to cause damage and fractures. It is also believed that within this art, Tambo wasn't the favorite weapon as supplementary one, giving space for Naeshi and others made of heavy iron. We can say that many forms used with Tambo Jutsu, there are examples of the thought of combat arts that still remain, have characters that differ from the standard use of the weapon just as Kata, or other established with own personality when analyzed as an isolated art. Although the form of application of the tambo is simple, there is a peculiarity on its rational implementation. Thus, a weapon should not be used in vain or moved to facilitate and promote the loss of their control or use. The most studied seitegata are Takewo Tsukiru through the bamboo and Yamawo Sendosuru which was translated in two ways, swinging the mountain and the boatman of the mountain. Some say it was a pun. However, there are stories that explain the origin of these two. At the first one, the complete stillness of Tori is providing access to the movement of the UK. The masters about this exercise explains that in any movement, any heiho, we all have a center that serves as a foundation during the attack of the UK. Deepening the foundation, making the hara works with this foundation, quieting the mind. And due to this, we create a point that cannot be shaken by any external or internal tremor and the courage to face a katana with a single piece of wood. At this exact moment, referring to the setegata, the mind cannot experience the contradictory. The opposite face to the UK's attack always brings conflict. When the mind is disturbed, it doesn't see the possibilities. There is only violence. Without the complete stillness, the movement, both in attack or defense, even within the setegata, becomes fiction, speculation, abstraction, and it's not real. 
Researchers say that the thumb bones origin had a variable of 12 to 18 inches and may have come from the descent, and its reasoning application be derived from compilation of a general thought involving the arts of war. In general, when a samurai participated in a meeting in which their swords were removed from reason of honor or security, they used always to carry the tessen or similar weapon. However, in some instances the tessen had to be removed too. In this case, they could carry a fan. Many claim that this was the origin of so many loaded weapons hidden by the samurai. Thus, we conclude that although the techniques employed by Tumbo have different ways of using, its original form and its characteristics remains the same.